training national leaders is a really important element of David's well. Juan knows that he's just one person. One person is limited in what they can do. Limited to just their lifetime and their ability to go out into different places. But when other leaders are trained, it multiplies those efforts many times over. We train leaders, qualified, well-trained leaders, firm in the teachings of Christ. This is what we have Bible College, where every three years we graduate new pastors who then take on new congregations. This is something we constantly work in our ministry. He's helping some of those kids who really show an aptitude for learning and wanting to know more to come out of the village and get high school and college education. And then he's training them. to be, He's taking care of their needs for um, housing and uh, food, and he's helping them get an education so that they can go out into a culture that they fully understand the challenges there, that they understand exactly the sins that are there, the people and what they're what, what kind of holds on to their lives. And these people who've lived and grown up in this culture can go out way better than I could as a North American and share Christ's love with their people. The traditional model, of course, is sending out American missionaries. And while that's good and that's necessary in so many parts of the world, where we have the opportunity to use national leaders, I think that's what we need to do. That's where we need to concentrate. We're very happy with the national training program we have developed. We train the native people to preach to each other. The Costa Ricans preach to the Costa Ricans. Panamanians preach to their people. This makes the work easier. The investment is less, much less. This is our investment. And I'll give you an example. Rufino preaches in our four congregations. We give an offering of $300 a month to Rufino Caballera because he cannot pay for electricity, cannot pay for water, he has no phone, no car. He has a horse to go to the fields to bring the gospel to the people there. So this is one great opportunity to serve our brother, an opportunity for Jose, for Wilfredo, and for so many other brothers who are spreading his gospel on the mountain. What David's Well is doing is unique because it was, number one, a Latin who started the ministry himself. He was from, Juan is from the Dominican Republic, and he felt God calling him to Panama. And he was completely familiar with the Latin culture and um, just has really taken a love for the people in Panama. David's Well has also been really good about following up and having leaders of churches who help the newer, younger pastors to be able to resolve problems and issues, to come in alongside of them and give them advice, to teach them about how to love their people, how to guide them, how to carry out evangelism. God has really equipped these people with a heart uh, for their own people. And for us to be able to come alongside Juan and support him in that is crucial because he needs those resources to be able to help train his people.